So what was the process like starting a business out here in Costa Rica? Um, it wasn't so difficult. Um, once you know what you want to do, everything falls in place. Yeah. So this is what you truly love doing? Yeah, it's my passion. I'm not a cook by trade. I never trained as a chef. Okay. It's my passion. I'm a foodie. I love food. Yeah. How easy was that process as far as getting location, mm -hmm. setting up the, setting everything up? And... Yeah, um, it just kind of clicked into place like it's meant to be. Like this location was empty for a long time. Right. And um, mm -hmm. the lady who owns it didn't want a restaurant here. When she found out I wanted to do this particular project here, she was okay with it. And um, I opened it two years ago. Two years ago last August. And she's been very supportive. Um, the business was not so difficult. Um, you have to get a lawyer and know, know what you want. Um, cost you a bit of money, obviously, but yeah, it's quite straightforward. Okay, cool. You live not too far from there? I live two kilometers away on a cacao farm. On a cacao farm? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you ain't got no cacao on the menu? <laughs> no. The lady and uh, the guys who own the farm, they have uh, chocolate workshops there three times a week. And they sell chocolate at the local market. And um, in the near future, I'll be selling some chocolate here as well. Yeah, 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 like a cacao drink, a cacao drink, y'all. Yeah, we're going to make chocolate bars and we can break the bars into cups, put hot water on it, hot milk, and then you can talk. And then the dessert, yo, the dessert would be fire, like a cacao type of dessert with the Snickers. It could be a cacao Snickers kind of like. Yeah, I mean, the, the uh, lady I get from, get the Snickers from, she uses local cacao as well. Mm -hmm. That's super good. Right. You know, like um, chocolate they get in the States and Europe? And you've got about 10, 20%, 30% if you're lucky cacao in it. Right, yeah, right. here you've got the real stuff. You've got like 70, 80, 90, 100% cacao. Yeah, I went and met the Bri Bri tribe. It was like that way a little bit. And they made some fresh cacao, showed me the whole process. Yeah. Like, it was beautiful. Some of like the best tasting cacao. It feels good too inside of your body. It's like a, yeah. it's an experience. Like it's energetic. It's almost like a certain type of high for real, but. Yeah, it's medicine. But natural, yeah, it's, it's medicine. medicine for sure. I mean, at one time, it used to be a currency, yeah. Cacao? Yeah. Cacao currency. Cacao used to be the currency, yeah. Damn, that's, that's what's up. Yeah. I didn't know that. The cacao was the currency, like, damn, like gold or the dollar or some shit, like that cacao currency. Yeah. For example, I was told, like, for example, you go into the bank on a Friday and borrow some money to the bank manager to buy a car or whatever. And then on Monday, after you've done your harvest, you bring them the cacao instead of the cash. That's what's up. Yeah, that's weird. Because it's got value. It's just got to have value. So, you yeah, know, yeah. I, mean, I, I understand. And we know money, money cash has no real value. It's no real value. It's no. paper. It's just paper. paper. It's because paper. I can't yeah. use it. It's not making me healthier. It's not like. So, no one like. I feel like that's the key of making money, period. No one like what's truly valuable. And then, like. Being able to trade, like exactly. the ability to trade and barter and actually have something valuable other than cash. And once you realize yeah. you could create value, it's like in a, in a sense you could print your own money and once you got that, you learn what's really valuable. You found out real good food. That's why one of the reasons they got rid of Gaddafi. Yeah. Because he wants to back African currency with gold. Right, right. Of the evolution of the restaurant, or we're gonna create a green school. A we're green school? A green school, yeah. Where youngsters can come. What do you mean learn. by that? Well, youngsters can come and learn how to plant food, learn about nutrition, learn how to purify water, how to build shelter. You now we've got to live this alternative way, you know, because the system. We're gonna have a choice soon to live within artificial intelligence or live naturally. Right. You know, that's gonna happen very soon. Mm -hmm. And um, so we've got. To that's really what you need if you got your own food you got your own water that's really what the trade don't matter how much money you got if you don't got food and water you ain't got nothing it's exactly. like you have nothing at all exactly yeah yeah mm -hmm. yeah i mean the majority of the world worships money as they go we just talked about that yesterday yeah. that's crazy he's talking about the world worships money as god 
Exactly. Well, we just said this, yo. If you want to, you want to the landing card. Mm -hmm. As a plan, as you know, as you know, yeah. That's our energy. We get energy from the land. We get exactly. nothing for money. And it's illusion. Whatever you doing things for is what you actually worship. So a lot of people do things for money all the time, doing stuff for money. But once you're doing stuff, forget the money. I'm going to do stuff for the land. I'm going to plant the seeds for the land. I'm going like, to serve the land. I'm going to love the land. It's a whole different type of energy that you're receiving instead yes. of like giving all your energy to some paper. Yeah, exactly. It's really essentially just paper. And you can sustain your future. Yeah, it's a yeah. bit more spiritual and plant the seeds, watching it grow, maturing it, and then consuming it. Back on the ground again, see what the cycle going, right? And that's how idea worked too. Because this idea, even this idea, it started off in seed form. And then you kept giving it attention, you gave it more attention, then it like started to sprout. And then, like, now it's at a certain point, then it just continues to grow and bloom by nurturing it and yeah. like giving it that attention, caring for it, giving yeah. it loving attention. Exactly. It's like, you know, sometimes, sometimes when we're in darkness, we think we've married, been buried. Perhaps right. it's planted. Mm -hmm. There's time to bloom. Everything's after darkness. Exactly. Everything goes. Yeah. So, like, mm -hmm. don't be scared of the dark, man. Use it for our benefit. Exactly. Exactly. So, what's the timeline like on the on the green school or whatever thing? I've got timeline yet. Um, at the moment, we've got to get this restaurant up and running, so it's making some money. Yeah. So it can reinvest it. Mm -hmm. So, um, right now the priority is to get a restaurant. Um, Okay. What's the steps, the next steps to getting a restaurant going properly? Like, what's the main thing you're focusing on to like build up? Yeah, what we do is set up an association or a foundation. process like of finding the land for you're gonna find some land around here somewhere yeah. and purchase the land and then just start building up slowly the same form and building up and building up exactly that yeah have yeah. you already like priced some land and so, so like, no because the prices are so varied depending on where they are how close to the sea how far into the jungle how accessible how far into the jungle you want to be um depends i mean you've got access to it you got a road going there you got access to electricity probably yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you got access to electricity, it costs a little bit more. If you're a little bit further out in the jungle, you don't got electricity. It's a lot cheaper, and it's like it depends on how much access. Yeah, and then you got like to invest money in get the infrastructure together to get the electricity. That's that kind of stuff. Haven't we really looked that far into it? This is just like uh, the ambition. Yeah, yeah. You know, we're gonna build upon that. A lot of people got that same idea right now. Like even like over in Detroit, everybody's talking about getting their own. Like they talking about it, but sometimes it's not no willpower actually going into it. It's like I'm thinking about it, I'm talking about it, but I ain't actually putting my willpower in alignment with those thoughts and and doing that. And just even getting to that point where you can think about something and put your willpower with it, mm -hmm. that's like a magical ability to, yeah. to fully be able to hop in motion. Like even with this restaurant, everything that we are doing right now, but just practicing, not getting distracted by so much stuff and fully aligning that willpower with the imagination and that's when the magic happened like exactly, yeah. all these beautiful things we're talking about like you hopping right on it like it's, we all it's, it's in process right now for real yeah because then so. your thoughts create reality exactly. you can you see in the world people go to the thoughts sometimes and one day it's someone's fault and then it manifests this reality exactly and, you know, so think strong think positive and watch things manifest you got any certain practices to keep you like positive thinking to keep your thoughts in a good place? Like, what's your practices like? Um, or any disciplines, if you want to call it that. Uh, well, the main thing is gratitude. Gratitude? Yeah, because I'm, I'm in a workout. If you wake up, for example, with a gratitude every morning, more things to be grateful for will come your way. What like, that mean? How you, in like, what's the process look like waking up in gratitude every morning? grateful for waking up. It's saying thank you. Yeah. It's feeling thank it. You. you gotta feel it. It's a feel, it's an inner feeling. I wake up in nature. I wake up around the birds and the trees and I wake up in nature every morning. So your environment, your environment got a lot to do with whether sometimes waking up in that gratitude. Yeah. Waking up in nature. I could see that like hearing those birds, but it's a certain energy, it feels different. Exactly. The sounds, the 
some people wake up to people arguing and cussing them out first thing in the morning yeah. like and that's wild like yeah. you can still find your gratitude for that too but the nature and the birds like it's different i used to wake up in england like half past five in the morning in concrete jungle yeah concrete yeah, jungle yeah, yeah, yeah. to drive a lorry all day being like still grateful yeah for waking up but this is different type of gratitude this is like a, a more like you're feeling like connected to nature you realize you're not separate from nature yeah that's the nature of all one and then the more you wake up with nature the deeper the connection is the more you wake up with concrete jungle the deeper the connection is in money and materialism Ooh, that's real so yeah the more you wake up in that concrete jungle the deeper your connection the deeper your attraction is to that concrete jungle, you're more connected to it. But when you in nature, you wake up in nature. Yeah. You're more connected to that. Like, yeah. So. I just wake up in England, right? What's going on in the news? What's on the news? First thing, news That's on. Like, what's Somebody the watching yeah. the news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the weather going to be like? What's this? What's that? You know? Mm -hmm. When it's raining here, I'm grateful. Yeah. When it's sunny here, I'm grateful. When it's fresh, I'm grateful. Yeah. You know, I mean, you got like, some fresh fruit coming. Everything like that rain serving the land. Yeah. It's serving the land. We say green here. We just put our rainy women say green. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we can't love the green without loving the rain. You gotta love both. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, man. So yeah, so gratitude is the main, the main practice. Being grateful, um, and you know, just realizing that the energy, everything is energy, and the um, the highest form of energy is love. It's the lowest form is fear. Yeah. So keep aligned about energy and love, you know. Yeah. And uh, you know. How you decide to leave England and say, okay, I'm going to Costa Rica to start up my restaurant? Like, where'd that come from? It wasn't like that. It wasn't, it wasn't like, like that. No, no. Like, um, someone asked me the other day, like, why did I choose Costa Rica? Yeah. I didn't. They chose me. They chose you. Okay. How did that happen, though? Like, how did I choose you? I came here. Um, no money or very little money and um some attention to volunteer on the farm to work a volunteer on the farm yeah okay the cacao farm no no this is another farm. farm this is uh, near san jose I and mean, then that didn't work out it's too much like slavery <laughs> right right and, um, i came here to be okay and i wanted to cook so i'm walking around the hospital ducks and if anybody has a vacancy for a vegan chef volunteering i found somewhere in town mm -hmm. Vegan food for for my um, for food and for for my bed, and I was happy doing that. Okay. And then um, we really enjoyed cooking, and then um, I decided, you know, I want to do this myself. I want to cook vegan food and have my own business. And that's what created this reality. Okay. You know, that's what's up. Up, little by little, it's not the right person. It just show up when you're in that gratitude. Everything just show up for you in a sense. Yeah, yeah. And you know, if you can imagine yourself doing something, you can do it. No way, you won't be able to imagine it. Right, right, exactly. Yeah. Alright, well that, that's that's good man. That's, I appreciate that the knowledge, the information, your time. I'm yeah. great. Uh appreciate your energy. Thank you for coming back again. For sure. And, uh, yeah, and what's your name? What's the name of the restaurant? My name is Temps. The restaurant is Jammin' Vegan Community. And we're in the center of Porto Viejo, South Caribbean, Costa Rica. Yes, yes. Come check it out whenever you're all in Costa Rica. Peace and love and gratitude. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Thank you.